Kenny, one of those where final game of the season, it's always a difficult one. There was nothing to play for, but the team seemed to put on a performance in 90 minutes for you. They absolutely did. Again, it was, uh, I think, from start to finish, was pretty pleasing on a tough pitch. Uh, the first half, I thought we had a lot of control. Uh, I mean, they're a good team. Obviously, they've got a big game to play on Wednesday night. Uh, some really, really good players, but I felt we controlled the game. We, we played the conditions really, really well in the last game everything they got apart from that breakaway goal. In fact, they had another wee breakaway in the first half as well. Obviously, they punished us on from the breakaway from our corner, which is disappointing because it shouldn't happen. But the lads, I thought they played really, really well. You know, we got the goal and I think that was that was the least we deserved out of this game with the, with how the effort that they've put in. Again, and that's not just been this game, that's been over the, over the last few months. Uh, and when I've kind of taken over, I can't thank them enough for the efforts they've gave because they've put some put good performances in. I feel we've probably not got the results we've deserved over the course uh, of the season. But uh, no, it was pleasing we never lost that game because I don't think we deserve to lose it on the, on the, the effort that was put in and on the overall performance. Of course, last time we were here, it was a, it was a 6-0 defeat uh, for us. And it was good to see as well that the, although going a goal down, there was a, you could see that the, the, the players were trying to fight back and trying to get back back into the game. Yeah, they were, and that's, and that's the message to them. You know, a goal is one second of a football match. You know, it, it can't allow it to affect your performance moving forward. You know, so up until that moment, we had done really well. You know, after that moment, we've done really, really well as well, and we were fighting to get back into the game. Even the first half, with a few chances. I mean, it's a wonderful save for, for, for Gris free kick. I mean, it's even bounced off that surface and went quite high. It was a really, really good save for Ferry, uh, which would have got us in, in, in level terms at half time. But we deserved that point. Listen, there's, that's it. There's no getting away from it. The boys played really, really well today. Uh, again, we've been absolutely depleted with injuries over the last month or so. To big players, you know, we're having to ask guys to go into different positions, ask them doing different roles, but they just roll the sleeves up and go on, you know, so uh, I can't thank them enough for that effort and that's it. I'm just really happy for the boys that they, that they finished the season, not on a positive because it's, uh, it was a positive performance, but no, obviously the result that we wanted, but it, would have been a, it wouldn't have been a nice way to finish losing that game of football based on the efforts that we put in. So yeah, delighted for them in that respect. A couple of points I thought that Leon McCann at left back when he came in, I thought did a really good job against Jack Atongo and also in the second half as well. And I suppose a, a really good finish to, for, for uh, Cal Morrison to score in front of the Falkirk fans. Yeah, it was. And it was, uh, I mean, Leon done, I thought he made a difference, as did Anton and Nizzi when they went on last week in the game. I thought they made a big difference and impacted the, the game the way a substitute should, which means they've kept their head right, they're ready to go on, they've done the right work to, to prepare themselves for going on, and I thought they were excellent. So I thought Leon deserved to play today, and he was excellent. He said he was up against two good players, uh, Katongo first, McBride second, and he, he, he done the job really, really well, while still giving us that wee attacking threat that he can give us as well. Uh, Callum, again, got another goal. I think that's 11 goals that he's finished with the season. He's had a season that he's been injured as well, so it's a good return. Anton, with his kind of farewell performance as well, I thought was excellent, set the goal up. I mean, again, it's hard to actually, you could go through the team, you know, particularly, I mean, I, I feel I could definitely over the last three games go through everybody and say there's, there's been really, really good performances within there, you know, so Paul Dixon coming in and playing right-sided centre-back, centre-centre-back, he's, he's done great. Uh, Gary Muller's been right centre back, he's been centre mid, he's been right back, you know, it's just, it's just filling in kind of gaps and positions that like I said based on the injuries we've had. Jamie Wilson last week, a striker playing right wing back, you know, and the lads give everything they've got, you know, so I know a lot gets levelled at them and it has been a really frustrating and disappointing season for everybody involved at the club, but the lads do give their all. It's, uh, so there's been just a few things that needed to have been corrected over the season in terms of obviously we lost too many goals effectively has been has been a big thing and that we've played a part in our own downfall and a lot of the goals as well so it's uh, like I said it's, that's, that's gone now the season's done it's important that the club look to kind of put things right over this close close season and make sure they come back with a real buzz and positivity going into the going into the next season which is a, a big big season for the football club I mean yeah I mean talking of that I mean that the possibility of potentially like Dunfermline going down obviously Kelty Hearts going going up as champions uh, and the like I mean in terms of of the future as well I mean what about yourself I mean what your your future is are you expecting to be here again next season you know I, I would love to be uh, truth being told I would probably expect not to be but uh, yeah, as I said, we've, we've had discussions in regards to the role. I would love to do it. I believe I could do it. Uh, I think I've got a brilliant response out of the players over the last three games or so. Uh, just continuing the work that was done, to be honest with you. But as a manager, you couldn't have asked for any more uh, for the lads. So yeah, I would love to. But like I said, the, 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 the kind of feeling is it's probably, it's probably no. 
regardless of what it is, Kenny's been a pleasure speaking to you over the last few months. Thanks so much for your time on behalf of the, the guys here at Falkirk TV and all the best for the future. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.